Jennifer is watching another front coming our way. Will it bring the waves that we saw last week? We're also going to see more swells, among other things. So certainly not a good time for that to be moving in to the already damaged Ocean Beach Pier. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that through the weekend. So for tonight, a slight chance for showers, but the best chance will be after about 4 a.m. So likely not going to see much until the early morning hours. 54 degrees is your down, uh, overnight low on the coast for tonight. 47 for the inland valleys, 44 in the mountains, upper 40s in the desert. But tomorrow things will start changing. More cloud coverage pushing into the coast, inland valleys, and even as far east as Julian through the morning hours. By 1:30, we're going to start to see that storm pushing in from the north, making its way southeast across San Diego County. So places in North County will be hit first by this storm. Oceanside, Camp Pendleton, Fallbrook, similar to what we saw with our series of storms about two weeks ago. As we head into four o'clock, getting ready for that evening commute, that rain becoming much more widespread, potentially heavier at times. So we have a chance for an isolated thunderstorm before 3 p.m. So in a thunderstorm, we'll see heavier rainfall rates, which could lead to potential flooding. So 4 p.m. looking at a messy commute and that'll continue through 5, 6 o'clock, even into 7 o'clock. We're seeing those rain chances stretching even further east as Mount Laguna, even into our desert area. So it's not until we get after 7, 8 to 9 o'clock that we're going to start to see some drying out for most of San Diego County. Still some isolated showers in parts of Mount Laguna, Pine Valley and Campo, but then more rain pushing in as as we had Friday night into Saturday, so a quick break from the rain on Friday, but then that second storm pushes in overnight on Friday. So our rain chance tomorrow, once again, slight chance for the morning hours. It's not until we get into the early afternoon that we really see those rain chances popping up, expecting about one inch of rain for the coast, the valleys and the mountains. By the time we hit Saturday, up to an inch and a half for the coast, up to three inches potentially for our mountain areas with snow levels down to 5,000 feet, cool temperatures all the way through the weekend, even into Monday. Daytime high is 59 degrees, overnight lows in the 40s and 50s inland valleys not a lot of sunshine there 58 degrees is your high on saturday so not only will we see a lot of rain with the storm system that's pushing in cooler temperatures mountain snow uh, down to 5,000 feet for saturday so a lot of different things moving here a lot of moving parts mm -hmm. three different storms by the time we hit tuesday and wednesday we'll start to see clearing up we've already had more than six and a half inches of rain for our season adding on to that for this weekend that's the great news about this it is really sure great is. news yeah thanks, thanks jennifer